Peace family, what's going on? Grand rising to everybody. Hope everybody is safe and blessed. Um, so this video I want to talk about um uh reports just came out. Um I, I forget the name of the article. When I find it out, I'm gonna leave it in the description box uh below or the comment box section below. But um you guys can look it up, you can just Google it. But um uh NYPD they're ready to um make an arrest. They may be ready to make arrests on um these Anthony Weiner's laptop situation. For those who don't know, um some years back Anthony Weiner uh he was arrested because of um this scandal where he sent his Weiner um to some 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 girl or whatever and they made a whole big thing about it because his name is Weiner and he sent his Weiner out. But um in doing so he got arrested and they confiscated his laptop. Well, inside of the laptop, Anthony Weiner actually in the NYPD they discovered in dis in discovering about Anthony Weiner they also discovered into the world of the elite and the occult and um the agenda the agenda with these secret um you know elite people be doing and it's this crazy you know psycho shit with the 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 children, if, um, y'all not peeping, um, it's a lot of human sex trafficking going on with these kids and, and trafficking, and, um, uh, Anthony Weiner laptop had a lot of information on that, and with, um, Hillary Clinton and, um, um, Anthony Weiner's wife, um, Suppose allegedly, I gotta say that for YouTube purposes. Allegedly, uh, it shows a video of Hillary Clinton and Anthony Weiner's wife, um, murdering and torturing the young girl, um, uh, ripping her face off, mutilating her, and um, uh, drinking her blood and torturing her and everything. And they and they do that for the adrenochrome, which is supposed to be like some type of chemical. That uh, children's produce um, in 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 a heightened state of fear, right before um, right before the point of death, and then they kill them, and they they take that uh, it secretes adrenochrome, and um, they take it out, and it's supposed to be like rejuvenate, uh, regenerative, and um, have like regenerative properties and youthful purposes, life. Like it's supposed to be for for different things, but you know they use that for that, and it's supposed to be a big, you know, um, high commodity market thing in the uh, black market. But um, so the NYPD officers who who seen the um video. Allegedly, I gotta say that allegedly for YouTube purposes, t out of the twelve officers who seen the video, ten of them are now dead. You know, um, supposedly commit suicide. <coughs> um, these officers, you know, um, were men in, uh, who seen like the worst, and the former chief of police at the NYPD at the time, um, the former commander, he was saying that, you know, he had to. He couldn't sleep for days after watching that video. Um, it gave him nightmares. A lot of men, you know, um, they had to walk out the room. They were throwing up and crying um, because of the things that they seen. Um, and allegedly, the image of the mutilated girl from that video was actually the, um, if you seen Jay-Z wearing his hoodie with, like, the uh, blood stain. Um, simple, the same thing that Ellen DeGeneres is wearing, supposedly, you know, the Ball Wilson that Tom Hanks had on the, the movie Castaway, where the, he had the soccer ball and he cut his hand and he put his hand on the ball and it made that face. It's supposed to, allegedly, it's supposed, that's supposed to, supposed to be what it is. So, um, uh, it was reports a while ago saying that, um, NYPD, they were saying that, um, 
they were waiting on the FBI to make some type of arrest. They're going to do something, wait to see what, um, what the government is going to do. If not, they're going to take matters into their own hands. So I think now it's, it's starting to happen. Um, it's a lot of people that have been, can, um, you know, spelling this stuff out online. You know, the QAnons, um, I've been following that. I won't say that I'm a QAnon um, member, but a lot of the stuff that they've been doing and saying is, um, seem like it's been accurate. You know, um, even with the whole, uh, Donald Trump situation. And I don't understand why people hate Donald Trump. Like, uh, I think it's funny how a few years ago Donald Trump was the man everybody loved him even when he first got in the office if y'all remember when he first got in the office his first few weeks he, first few weeks of, um after he um the inauguration he started signing all these different papers and orders and if y'all remember watching the news they're like yeah Donald Trump was handling him business like people was loving it that's because people didn't know what he was doing they just seen that him doing a lot of different stuff and you know they was loving it but then when <clears throat> but what he actually was doing was stopping, you know, the, the adrenochrome sources. He's stopping the criminal child sef sex trafficking ring. He's like, he putting all these indictments out and stopping these pedophiles and these Hollywood elites and everybody. And now they start getting scared and then they started spewing their agendas. And because these are the people who run the media, run the news and run Hollywood, and run these celebrities, and then they spew the narrative that Donald Trump is evil, he's he racist, and all this, and now you fast forward four years later, and now everyone hates Donald Trump. Like, it, it's crazy, and it just got me, like, to the point where, like, people, with this whole election thing, and, like, I'm black, I'm African-American, and, you know, I, we, us African-Americans, we grow up, I can't speak for, you know, every other people. I can't speak for why y'all reasons, but I can only speak for what I know about um, being black in, in, in the political party. And being black in America, you're, it's, I was born in 84. So in that time growing up, I can remember like the early, like the late 80s, 89, 90, 91, like the time, right at the time after Reagan and, and Bill Clinton was about to be uh, elected and all that stuff, you know, um, you know, I can remember everybody just saying like Democrats, Democrats, black people, Democrats for the black, Republicans bad, Republicans racist. So, you know, black people, we're, we're believed to think that Democrats are good, they're for the blacks and Republicans are bad when really, you know, uh... The, the conservative views are really what Americans really inspire for, and that's Republican and Democrat, you know, with the right to bear arms, the right to, you know, uh, capitalists, make money, um, freedom of speech, uh, freedom to assemble, all that stuff. Like, <clears throat> if people sat down and just actually read the... the the, the script sheets of the political parties, a lot of these black folks who claim to be Democrats, they'll find out that they really got conservative views and <laughs> don't even know it. But that's a whole different topic Um, because I don't really look at myself as Democrat or Republican. I, I really kind of don't fuck with this whole political ring because even with the thing with the whole Q and QAnon, they kind of look at Donald Trump as like, they look at him like I don't think that he's this bad guy that uh, this narrative that the whole media is spewing and all these celebrities saying, but the whole Q and on they kind of looking at him like the savior, and I don't look at him like the savior either because shit, if you know anything about the Bible and and read and everything, it's kind of antichrist like like it could be a whole you know misdirection thing, um, you know stop the bad guy, stop the things and everything, but he bringing peace to the Middle East, and they about to build the walls in Jerusalem, and, like, that's, if, when they build that and all that stuff, that's kind of like the, you know, one of the signs of the tribulations and the rapture happening, so, I'm not saying he is the Antichrist, I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> um, I'm, I'm not saying he's the, the, the bad guy, I'm not saying he's with the media and everything saying evil, I'm just, um, I reserve judgment right now, um,
I just don't hate Trump. Whatever. I, all I can say is, um, as far as with him, until he reveals himself to be the Antichrist, or until more, you know, Bible prophesies things start revealing itself, then I reserve judgment on that. But, um, I just don't think that he's with the media and with everybody's and everything saying. Um, but I think people just need to open their eyes and uh, wake up and see what's going on. This whole 2020 has been a planned agenda that's been in the making for decades. And um, like these people like Bill Gates, George Soros, all these tech billionaires, these Silicon Valley, Valley trillionaires, um, these royal family people, it's, it's, it's uh, <clears throat> they spewing a agenda, you know, it was a Agenda 2020 leading up to Agenda 2030, so, you know, they got 10 years to do, spill their plan, but, um, <clears throat> that's just my take on it for right now, um, I will be making more videos about this, um, because I, I do like talking about um, this type of things. And I like to hear different people's views on these topics. If um, Have y'all been following it too? Um, do y'all think it's just a conspiracy theory? Because, you know, all conspiracies, conspiracies aren't theories. Some of them conspiracies are true. So, um, you know, uh, drop your comments down below and let me know what y'all think. And, um... Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Subscribe. Um, like the video. Um, if you feel like you need to be liking, uh, like the video. Share. If um, if you feel like you need to be shared, then uh, I'll holler at y'all in the next one. Um, God bless and I'll talk to y'all. Peace.